you do is you take four inch elasticon. This is three inch elasticon. It's much better with four inch. And you start right like this. And you bring it down. And you get it all the way down like this. So it's nice, firmly attached. And you press this until all the hernia contents are back up through the hole. Oh, 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 good boy, good boy. He's a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, and with it completely oh, compressed oh, in, oh. you take this with a little bit of the elastic on, a little bit of the elastic in it, and you can feel that it's not extruding anymore, and you make sure that this isn't interfering with the penis. Then you bring it all the way up. And now you're going to come a little bit closer to this part here, but you're going to move across so it does a figure eight. And you're going to come up the other side. It helps if you have a big wingspan like me. When you come up the other side, you make sure you're covering the elasticon so it's overlapping. And then as you come here, Try and get as much of this off. It helps if it's not too cold or too warm. And you're kind of come out here and come across. And now you're doing a figure eight again, so you're coming back on the back side. And then you're just going to keep coming up. And now this side is really close to the stifle area. And as you do this, you have to be careful that this horse could turn into a bucking horse just like a bucking strap. So as long as the handler of the foal, and you are aware of that, but they usually don't do it until you release them and they take their first step forward. So I'm doing a continuation. And you see how it's folding in here? That's one of the restrictions that can occur. And I'm coming forward again, and coming back up on the front side. I'm trying to take at least a half a bite on the skin itself so it can really stick to the, the fold. Now I'm coming back here and you can see a little bit of a, little bit of this white gauze showing. So I'm gonna try and get that out of there. Just like that, pull it forward. And I made sure that the tape is covering it, and I'm pulling the back side, and hopefully you can see how well it's covered now. Come across, and one more turn of this. And we come up the front side. Is this your last year tape? Do I need to get it today for you? I believe there was a horse This is all being recorded, that. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I put on two rolls of three inch elasticon. You can see that this is all compressed in here, that the pre piece or where the penis comes out is not obstructed. If it does become obstructed, which it, it won't, you can always cut a little bit out here. And sometimes you have to cut. You can see how the tape is rolling back. This is where this fold gets some skin irritations, but it's nothing will go away. If your horse is a halter horse, um, be aware that when you take this, you'll be taking some of the, the hair off and it's not gonna be good for a halter class, but nor is the umbilical hernia. So you have to weigh it. This is a non-surgical, non-invasive way to compress the gut contents to allow the uh, abdominal muscles to close over. It takes about seven to 14 days. So this will probably have to be replaced in about a week. And to do that, you take your surgical scissors, you know, the blunt on one side, uh -huh. and you cut down here, right down the midline, and you peel it off this way. You peel down with the skin and peel it off and make sure somebody's holding the fold when you do it. On occasion, if it's really hot out and they sweat a lot, this whole thing can become loose and it's no longer adding pressure down here. That's when you need to change the bandage. Alrighty, so we're gonna just step back a little bit and we're gonna ask him to take a, a little bit of a walk. And what a good patient, what a very good patient. <laughs>